Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Paper Tiger. If you're new here, my name is Steven, and behind me is a 2009 Ford Mustang with a fairly rare and unique factory package called the Warriors in Pink package. Back in 2008, these cars were the first of their kind, a car that was specially built from the factory to fight cancer, which is a strange goal to have a car be built for, but it is a very good goal nonetheless. And let me just say, the story of how this car came about is actually incredible, but today, I have a few questions. Did this car actually achieve the goal that Ford built it for? And is it even a good car? And the most pressing question for me is, will this Mustang be a collector car someday in the future? Today, we're going into the deep end on the Warriors in Pink package Mustang. All right, our story truly begins in the late 1970s with a lady named Susan G. Komen. She was diagnosed with breast cancer and her family doctor didn't take the necessary steps to actually slow and prevent the spread of the disease within her body. As the cancer began to spread to other parts of her body, Susan's sister, Nancy Brinker, made her a promise that she would do everything in her power to end breast cancer forever. Unfortunately, after a three-year battle with the cancer, Susan died in 1980. She was only 36 years old. Two years later, in 1982, Nancy began making good on her promise, launching the Susan G. Komen Foundation with a dedicated mission of ending breast cancer. Apparently, according to their website, she started the company with $200 in her pocket and a box full of a list of potential donors. Well, this meager start quickly reached heights that even Nancy herself didn't expect because today, the Susan G. Komen Foundation is the largest nonprofit organization for breast cancer patients in the entire world. To date, they have donated $3.6 billion into cancer research. That, that, is a, that is a large number. Even better, they have reduced the breast cancer death rate by 43% since 1989. That is incredible. And in 1993, the Ford Motor Company became one of their donors. Now there's actually pretty limited information as how this came about, but what we do know is that Ford has been very philanthropic towards the Komen Foundation, and they've only become more philanthropic as time has gone on. In 2006, Ford launched the Warriors in Pink program, which helps out patients and gives money to charity. In addition, Ford also started a Warriors in Pink clothing line, where 100% of the profits go towards the Komen Foundation. Furthermore, Ford also offers financial assistance to cancer patients who are having trouble affording their car, and if they still can't afford their car, Ford offers them a free shuttle service to get them to and from their appointments. And that is just, that's something else. Apparently they're still doing this today, which I love. That's amazing. They have donated $139 million into cancer research. So suffice to say, Ford has done a lot for this cause. But back in 2007, they wanted to take it a step further. A team convinced Ford that they should build a car specifically for breast cancer. I believe that the main person that we have to thank for this is a lady named Jackie DeMarco. And this became a very special project for her because in the course of making this car a reality, she was actually diagnosed with breast cancer herself in 2007. So it was decided Ford would build a special appearance package solely for the Warriors in Pink program. But what car should they put it on? What car would be fitting to carry the brazen torch of the cause? The sign of Ford's commitment to the end of breast cancer. Well, what more than one of Ford's most iconic vehicles of all time? That's right, the Ford freaking Mustang! Yeah, no, forget, forget all of that. Cause this package was only offered on one very specific model of the Mustang, the V6 Premium. That's right. This car was never offered with the V8, which I think is a huge missed opportunity, but we'll, we'll get back to that. On May 11th, 2007, Ford released the first pictures of their special edition car, which was to be ready for the 2008 model year. Production was to be limited to 2,500 units, and the cars were only offered in white, silver, and black, with a pink theme running throughout the car. 
We're talking pink stripes on the sides. We're talking pink stitching on the interior. We are talking pink accents on the floor mats. And best of all, Ford planned to donate $500,000 to the Komen Foundation by the sale of these cars. They were going to donate $250 for every car sold. I'm not doing the math, but I'm pretty sure that works out. Yeah, we're just gonna go with it. And as it turns out, Ford actually revealed the production numbers for the 2008 model year cars. And it's sad. <laughs> Out of the 2,500 cars that they were planning to produce, they only sold 1,382 cars. Just a little bit over half of what they were intending. That's why Ford said that it was, quote, unclear if they had reached their half a million dollar goal that they were planning to donate. That's why they changed it up for the 2009 model year. At the New York Auto Show in 2009, Ford unveiled the new 2009 Warriors in Pink Package car. Despite having very similar options, the car was revamped with a couple of notable styling cues. The cars had a different front grille, different stripes on the sides, stripes along the hood, and they were... A, and I'm pretty, I gotta double check this. An optional glass roof. <laughs> I, what? <laughs> I'm gonna assume that that was an option only for the coupe cars. Because I'm a funny man. Ford also announced that instead of 2,500 cars, the 2009 production year would be limited to 1,000 cars, which was a far more attainable goal considering their sales last year. However, Ford never actually released how many cars they built in 2009, which is suspicious. And based on the information that I've gathered, it looks like sales were abysmal. This sheet from January of 2010 paints a very sad picture, if it is to be believed. Which, finally, brings us to this car. About time. This is a 2009 model car. And according to the fine folks here at Superior Motors, this is one of only 56 convertible option cars. And one of only 20 that were painted in white. Give it a few other options, like the color of the top and a soft boot option, which I don't even know what that is makes this car one of five in the world. And considering the Ford probably didn't make their goal of a thousand cars, makes this a pretty rare machine. It's certainly the first one that I've ever seen. So let's take a walk around this car and see why this car is so unique. When we bought it, we thought it was a faded red stripe and thought it was like a dealer add-on. But when you notice the seats do have the pink stitching, it's on mm -hmm. the steering wheel. As yeah, well. yeah. That's, that's when we knew it was something a little bit more than just a dealer added it on. It does say that this came with a boot, the mm -hmm. cover for the soft top. Yeah. I don't have that. Piece, oh, really? Which that's what makes it down to a really low, low number car. Uh -huh. I've never seen a boot for this body style car. Huh. So, and I have not found any online available <laughs> to purchase either. And on this car, I guess it was a odd thing to be ordered with. Yeah. Like I said, I've never seen one with it. And mm -hmm. it's missing the floor mats too. The floor mats would have had the uh, yeah the breast cancer flag on it. I know they redid the stripe for the 2009 model year and have it do that little wavy thing in the back. Mm -hmm. Then the custom badge they made for it, which is kind of cool. The stripe's running up for the 2009 year. Yep, that's a... <laughs> Oh wait, that's not bad for a V6. It's got a little bit of a rumble to it. It's the convertible top. <laughs> All this pink stitching's on the back here too. Convertibles don't look right with the tops on. Yeah. They're supposed to look better with the top down. I think it's weird and cool. I don't think it's much of an enthusiast car though. That's the no, thing, it's a V6 car, but. Exactly, but if you want to have one that has a little bit uniqueness, yeah. it definitely has that. For There's sure. a lot of V6 convertible Mustangs. Oh yeah, they're There's everywhere. Lots of them. Not all of them have this cool of a story behind them, I think. Exactly. And it's kind of a shame that these cars don't really have much of a following behind them. It, there's there's hardly not enough of them to have a following. It's, you know? <laughs> yeah. They're, and no one knew, no one knows what it is, but I figured it out. Took a little bit of digging. That's the other thing too, is there's not a lot of information about these cars out and available. This is a bit of a crazy question, but could I just take it around the block, you think? I'll let you go. I'll put a plate on. So they have a nice interior. 
It is actually very nice and clear. All right, we'll be right back. Todd from Superior Motors, great guy, by the way. He's letting us film this video. Uh, I asked him if I could drive this car and he was like, yeah, go right ahead. Then I was like, all right, cool. This is my first, my, uh, the second Mustang I've ever driven, the first one being my own. So uh, let's see what this little V6 Premium can do. This is my first time driving a, uh, a convertible car. I've never actually driven a convertible car before. <laughs> I can see why people were like genuinely like convertibles because this is fun. I'm gonna give it a little bit of beans here. That is, it, it's not really, it's not a car that like throws you back in your seat. <laughs> Definitely no. not. But this thing is, this is fun to cruise around in. This is really cool. Oh, and check this out. We have officially passed, shoot, 58,000 miles on the odometer. That's pretty special that uh, I did that. Well, that's a little bit of juice. That's only like three grand, that's, that's not bad. I love this car because of how unique it is. Like the story this car has to tell is just, it's, it's just so cool. Chevy and Dodge haven't built a car like this ever. Even Ford hasn't done it since. This is a one of a kind car, really. And even though it's just a special edition, it's still, it's still cool in and of itself. One final point that I would like to make before this video ends is that the future of this car looks shaky at best. I think that the market for this car, both now and in the future, is very small. And the main reason that I have to say this is because they never offered it with a V8. Because of this, I think that these cars are being passed up by enthusiasts who want a faster Mustang for the money, and they're being passed up by high school students because a car with pink stripes is not a very good look, unless you're a member of the Plastics. Who are the Plastics? As a high school student myself, I would not trade my 96 GT for this car. And that's saying a lot, because that car is still in pieces as I'm filming this video. <laughs> also, despite its incredible story and scarcity, as far as I can tell, these cars are still very low in value, which means that they're not being picked up by collectors. At least, not yet. I just don't think that they see a lot of value in them, despite the incredible story that they have to tell. However, I am hopeful that this video might change your minds. Despite only being a V6 Premium Mustang, the story on this car is one that bears remembering. This car represents a story of hope, generosity, and remembrance for all of those who have been fighting against cancer and those who have lost their lives in the struggle. And in a way, it's the story of Susan G. Komen and all of her struggles that she faced as she fought cancer herself. This is a special car and it doesn't deserve to be forgotten. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Up Close, which is a mini documentary series that I like making just for the heck of it, going through the amazing stories of cars and their owners, and uh, having some fun along the way. It is my mission to create videos that inspire others to go out and enjoy their cars and to connect people together through their stories. Stay tuned for more stories on cars, new and old, coming soon. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and have a great rest of your day, everyone. Bye-bye.